sustainable fire. A sustainable fire. Especially in the snow. Say this snow wasn't just a couple inches deep. Say it was about a foot deep or two foot deep. We'd like to get a nice fire lay. A nice platform or a bed to start the fire on. Just something to start it on so you're not fighting with the snow. And the, uh, the tinder no. uh, I have, I collected some birch bark and some of this uh, ostrich fern that's dead. Some of the dry stuff that's around here. Um, I'm not using cotton balls and petroleum jelly or paper or toilet paper or anything like that. Um, I like to start out with pencil lead size to pencil size uh, sticks, and then move up to marker size, thumb size sticks, and then larger size wood to keep the wood uh, fire going. But uh, if you don't have these size sticks available, you can make your own by what's called the tonning. And, uh, I cut off a piece, I use a saw of course if you have a saw. And uh, what you do is you have uh, your piece of wood. Pull out your diving sparrow awesomeness. Yeah, why don't you want to give that back to me? Then it's gone. Okay. And you actually split the wood up into smaller sections without the use of an axe or a hatchet. Hey Jeff, remember yeah. the first snow dog we were back there? We used a piece of uh, bark. As a yes. Piece. Remember? Yes, uh, we built the fire How long did it take bark? you to get all your, your prep? It took me about, probably about 15 minutes. Don't skimp on the prep, because um, as you can see, I've got more bigger size sticks than I have little sticks, because I want I want it going. I want to keep it going, so I can collect more of the larger size logs. And uh, I, if your tinder bundle is sufficient and big enough, it's going to light this stuff on fire real fast. Real fast. And back to the... Uh, wood with a knife you can make shavings feather sticks and that's creating air space allows the air to get in there you know just more just for area. more more tinder I, I did it a bunch on these sticks right here just to get it going earlier that somebody tried to burn yesterday <laughs> but you can you can process this down you can process this down as small as you want you can you can take this all the way down to the pencil size pieces if you want. Sure you can. <clears throat> now, what kind of knife is that? You you said it was something some diving off. sparrow custom knife. Yeah, it's about two hundred twenty-five dollars. Oh, yeah, that's in the not happening right. category. It's a custom <laughs> razor sharp dude. That thing just it's a ten ninety-five Scandi grind. Four and seven eighths inch long, uh, eighth inch thick, 1095 uh, high carbon with a flat back for uh, ferro rod striking. And what we're going to do is to get this. One? What's that? Issue us one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you come to our advanced fire starting class, which is only $450, we'll give you one. <laughs> <laughs> what a bargain. Good one. Uh, I just uh, grabbed some ostrich fern. Those are made by our buddy. Abe Elias. No. Yeah, Abe yeah. Elias makes that, right? Yep. And I'm making like a nest. See, I'm pushing it in on itself. Just kind of creating a bird nest of sorts. Which, by the way, if you find a bird nest, that is the most awesome tender you can use. Right. Because it's the birds use dry material. It's dried out by their body heat. It's already, it's up in the you know, air. They're perfect. And they're already shaped. Keep the, right the birds way. out first. We have eggs too for breakfast. Then you have yeah, eggs. You have eggs for breakfast. Some, yeah, bold eggs. An omelet. What are you doing? I'm fluffing up. Uh, oh, okay. I got to talk about it. Uh, you were not videotaping this. Um, <coughs> yes, yes, what we I'm are. doing is I'm taking the rough outer bark, the dry stuff off of the uh, bir birch bark, of uh, the tree, birch tree, and then I'm taking my knife and making curls. That I'm going to ignite instead of magnesium. I'm going to use my mag bar. Oh, you want? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to try and keep that there. I'm going to have my tinder bundle ready. I'm going to feed it with more birch bark. 
The mag bar goes on the bird. I'll show you. I'm gonna get to bring this closer. Show them how to set the braze too. What's that? Should use a braze so you got airflow. Braze. A log, take that log there and use it as a brace. So lay your tender across. Okay. Or do you not use a brace? I don't use a brace. You don't use a brace? Okay. Your class, my sorry. <laughs> Mr. TA. <laughs> the technical asshole? Yep. <laughs> okay, what is that thing that you just used? I used a Magic. ferro rod. Magic. Ferro serium rod. rod. It's the same material that you use in a torch lighter, you know, propane torch lighter, the strikers. Yeah. Right. It's the same material, just bigger and thicker, and it burns at 2,800 degrees. Fire Those, strikers are the same thing, aren't they? It's the same yeah, thing, the but they're thick. small. You're not going to get. So you're not going to be able to. the magnesium sheet. This is. He used the bark. The bark was what, what he ignited. Yeah. This is. You're How scraping this stuff into your material, on and it's burning rod when it gets in there. It's about 4,800. Yeah, that's what I thought. 4,800? Yeah. 4,800. I, I thought you were lowballing Mag that. Magnesium, magnesium burns up to 6,000 if you use uh, magnesium. But I'm not using magnesium. I'm using everything collected from the woods here. We don't, we don't need the magnesium or the... Um, you found that ferro rod in the woods? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, wow, that's a there's a ferro rod tree. We gotta, yeah, we gotta find that ferro rod tree. <laughs> a ferro rod tree. Yeah. You can make fire out of ice. Yes. Make a, make a lens out of it. Right? You can make it out of a Ziploc baggie full of water. Yeah. And you know that also scares away flies. Ziplocs of water, yeah, tape them up and flies will not come by it. It some messes with their eyes. Really? Yeah. Sweet. See, I like using a brace because it gives you the airflow you need to get that. A brace? You're dry. talking about this log? Yep. Being the brace? Yeah. Yep. Oh, so you have something to lean your shit up against. Yeah. And it just gives you I something to give us less <laughs> air. <laughs> and or block the wind. Yeah, really. You well, could block the wind, too, yeah. It's a 360 degree circle. But you don't want it too and much and bigger than what he's got direction. there. It's about the perfect size. Now, what we found a couple weekends ago when the wood was frozen solid, <laughs> you need to stand the wood up so that it circulates and it dries out. <laughs> You're a dragon. <laughs> that is a good job, that blowing. <laughs> I can't even hold this camera steady around for it, you know that. What? <laughs> you know, what if you ever like get tired of bushcrafting. Is build this up big enough. I don't like to leave it until I can walk away from it for at least 10-15 minutes to collect more firewood. You can walk away and collect some more. We won't piss on it. <laughs> you, we have to do the sound editing on this I right here. Right? Yes, I know. Email it to me. I'll show you how to email it. Mongofiles.com. Knee high, baby. Another trick is if you guys have, you know what ranger bands are? No. Bicycle, up bicycle, bicycle inner tubes. Oh, yeah. Bicycle inner tubes that are cut. What I did was I cut a, a bicycle inner tube into pieces with the scissors. If you take this, it's it's tinder that's waterproof. If you get it, if you get it burning, oh, the... it'll burn for a long time. And hot. Yeah. And hot. Mm -hmm. Fritos work good too. Yes. <laughs> but, but this, this what rubber, do? What this does Fritos burn really Fritos? Well. Any chip. Yeah, yeah. Doritos before? Uh, Doritos. No. Doritos, Fritos, yeah. Pringles. I've done a test. Oil. Every single oil. potato oil. chip oil. will burn. Like Cheetos. Yeah. Cheetos burn too. Exactly. That with the grease. And would that get hot enough? Or would that get hot enough? You could heat water or something? I guess with a bag of Fritos? Yeah, a whole bag. A whole bag, yeah. Water, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to do Fritos. Yeah, but, but they're Fritos. But you got to have the water after They're the good Fritos. Oh, food. Eat. Yeah. You, you can't eat the Fritos, but you oh, can you eat a Fritos without drinking something? They're so salty. You got to have something to drink with the Fritos. So half a bag and half a cup of water. 
Now, for your guys' fire, do you think you should try and do it with just birch bark or natural stuff instead of getting a... I don't fire care how they, how they start their fires.